writing SQL queries and managing them for complex table structures can become really, really difficult. And that's where Hibernate came in and said, you map a Java bean to a table and I would take care of generating the queries for you. So you map an entity to a table and you can tell me what actions to perform and I'll generate the queries and perform those actions. And this concept is called ORM, Object Relational Mapping. Hibernate is an ORM framework. Once the concept of ORM became successful, Java EE wanted to standardize this concept and brought in something called JPA, Java Persistence API at that particular point in time. JPA is like an interface. It defines how you can map an entity to a table. It defines how you can perform operations on your entities. And Hibernate is like an implementation of JPA. So Hibernate implements everything that is defined in a JPA. By making use of JPA, you can easily shift from Hibernate to another object relational framework like Toplink.